angels, I hope you're feeling good. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend, whatever you are up to. The rain has finally stopped today, so we are getting into the spring and summer spirit. The weather's like literally all over the place. I don't know where you guys are in the world, but in the UK we had lovely weather last week and now it's nothing but rain. And it's horrid, but yeah, we won't let anything stop us with this spring vibe. And I have done the craziest haul ever from H&M. I've spent £800 on a whole bunch of goodies. I've got like some essential pieces, some really cool different pieces, um, really embracing the colour and some pattern and things like that. So hopefully there's something for everyone and I really hope you enjoy this haul. We're going to get through it. £800 sounds like a lot but I'm kind of styling and put together outfits so to whatever length I've edited it down to I really really hope you enjoy the video and it gives you a little bit of inspo for spring and summer. And if anything catches your eye, you know where to go in the description box. Everything will be linked for you. And of course, very quickly, I just want to say a massive thank you and hi to any newbies that are watching. If you love this video, please give it a like. And of course, join the Annie fam. Your support means everything and more. And I'm over on my Instagram if you want some daily content from me. And over on TikTok as well. I should really post more though, to be fair. So we are going to jump straight into this. I'm going to start off with some kind of minimal pieces and then we're going to jazz it up with a couple of accessories and some layers. I've even got some shoes down here and a bit of denim. So yeah, let's get into it. I really hope you enjoy it. Okay, so I've started off with a really minimal piece. Now I do feel like this is an essential item. These really lovely, comfortable kind of jersey ribbed um, uh, midi dresses and it is difficult when you're petite to get the midi length but this actually is and I've actually got two different um, shoes on as well to show you what I would wear it with so as you can see look how good the length is on me guys it literally is perfect it fits my body perfectly as you can see it is literally just like the most insane fit and this is an extra extra small which I think on H&M is the equivalent of a four uh, and yeah, a 4 always fits me really good from H&M. I don't usually have issues with their sizing, um, so no, hopefully this video will be a good hit. And yeah, I love the sage for spring as well. I do feel like it's a really nice kind of subtle, you know, way to get in colour into your wardrobe if you don't want to go straight into it, into the vibrant colours. So what I would wear this with is I've got these really cool trainers from Mango. I've just recently got them. There'll be a couple of Mango accessories mixed in here because I do love their accessories. And I've been looking so long for kind of like leather-free New Balance kind of sporty look trainers. And I feel like I've nailed it. I absolutely love these. So yeah, for mango and that pop of white it just really brightens up the look and I would also put on some kind of like spongy flip-flop um, shoes and these are from Mango as well. I was going to say Zara because I did get um, white spongy flip-flops last year from Zara. Quite a lot of their spongy flip-flops are leather this year though which is annoying because I really like the style but the leather so it doesn't really work with what I believe. But yeah these spongy kind of flip-flop mule um, sandals are from Mango and they are so comfortable. I think they're quite like chunky and I really like that look but I do worry that, like I don't know it makes my feet look bigger I got these in a three um and I think they do they do do size twos in fact I know that but the size two wasn't available in these but I probably would have just been more of like not a snug fit but you know they just would have been less kind of chunkiness you know but I do love I don't know and because it's nice and minimal oh guys I'm obsessed with this bag so I love mango bags I remember last autumn I was posting and raving about the really lovely zebra print bag and yeah it's still like my go-to I just absolutely love it now this is I feel like this is their kind of like spring signature bag that makes any sense it literally is just so stunning it's got a really lovely kind of satin metallic vibe to it as you can see I love the colours on it you know with the little bit of nudes the blacks the lovely kind of violets the greens and I just think it is so cute and it's just adorable for any occasion both of my shoes because it's got the white on there and it's got the black so it goes with my little sandals and because obviously it's basic um yeah you can really get away with adding some pattern and a little bit more colour and yeah I'll pop on some black sunnies and I'm ready to go okay lovely so this is look number two this is proper cash really Really embracing nice light neutrals for spring and I'm going to start talking about this vest because you know I'm like with vests and basics. I just absolutely love the H&M Basics collection. They always have the best vests. I would say H&M and Weekday are the places that I go to for my basics and I know I won't be disappointed that the quality is always so good. So as you can see this isn't see-through. I love the ribs and like 
I don't know, just the overall fit of it, it's always so good. And this is a longer vest, so what I've done is I've tucked it into these amazing denim shorts that I'm obsessed with. Look how well they are fitting me. Let me take this off actually now quickly. I'll pop that back on um, afterwards. But look how well they're fitting me. I think these are a size 4. And um, but look how good that it goes into my back. The length of them is really good. I've actually got another pair um down here. Is it Bermuda? Yeah, kind of denim short, so the nice kind of longer leg. Um, but they, these aren't too long and they're not too short, so they're just like the perfect fit for me. I absolutely love these. I love the wash of the denim as well. And yeah, it's just super like it's simple, but again, you can style it in different ways. I've popped on these brilliant um boots that I got from H and M. They again, they're just trying to get away from the black back back. And yeah, I found these and I just absolutely love them. They fit so well on the leg, they're not like really chunky and they're super comfortable and yeah, like I said, just kind of gets away from the black. But what I um, partnered it off with was, when we fell, was this amazing kind of a biker um, faux leather cream jacket. So yes, even though I've got like a version of it in black, I just wanted to um, see what the light neutral was like and I think I do prefer it. Obviously this time of year it's more fitting, but yeah, and it matches the boots perfectly so you can see it's that really nice kind of beigey cream and yeah and then kind of adding a little shoulder bag and you're good to go and it's just super casual you've got your legs out for the sun and um yeah you won't be like too cold because obviously the UK it can literally be like 16 degrees one minute and then it's pouring down with rain and it's 9 degrees the next okay I proper love this this is quite different for me like to get like a suit not different but like it's quite difficult to get a suit that just you know like matching trousers blazer um, and yeah, no, it's just difficult for me because of my height, but this is an absolute win for me and I just think this is so classy looking, it's just, it's just such a lovely look. Having this really lovely kind of light grey for spring and summer, it really is just perfect and I just think again, mix and match, you can wear the trousers separately, you can wear the, bla the blazer separately, but I just think it's such a lovely spring and summer set and I, I think it would just look good on everyone so I actually got the blaze in an 8 because I wanted that little bit oversized um, vibe on the shoulder area but I got the trousers in a 6 and the smallest size they go down to is a 6 I don't do 4s. A 4 would have been a little bit better in the trousers but I'm still keeping these they're just that little bit baggier um, than I'd want them to be. The trousers I've just kind of like taken them up a little bit as you can see rolled them up because they're grey inside it really doesn't show and it kind of looks like they're meant to be like that and I've popped on those really lovely uh, mango padded sandals which I'm going to be living in and yeah it's just super like it's casual but so classy I just think it's such a lovely look I've popped on a um, belt that I got from H&M as well I probably need to put on another hole in there it's just that like, ever so slightly too big which is annoying but I absolutely love the belt as you can see it's got kind of like a silver detail buckling there I'm super impressed with this and also the other thing is that the trousers are quite low waist they're not really high so that's another bonus for me because you guys know I've got a short torso so it's not massively flattering when I have something that's really high waisted so just yeah this whole look I love I just kind of wish the trousers came in a four but um, I'm not going to send them back so I really really love this look okay so we've got some some jeans on now so I kept that vest on as you can tell I love the vests now these jeans are exciting I wasn't expecting it I saw they had a whole bunch of new jeans in and um, the only thing that was putting me off them was that there was a lot of like extra um high rise jeans and you you know me like higher I don't like them too high I do like them lower the better um and so I was like mm, so I only got a couple but these ones I love and these actually didn't I think the size four was sold out so I got a six but because they're higher a six is a lot more comfortable around my waist and they're not like they're high I wouldn't go any higher than that you know so I kind of wish they were ever so slightly lower but it works I'm going to keep them because I love them they're so comfortable I just love how they fit on the leg, look, they kind of like fit my thighs really well, but then they go down as quite like a straight leg. I really like the knee, um, where is it, is it only on the side, yeah, I really like the knee cut out as well. They're just such lovely, comfortable spring jeans, and yeah, I really love them. So check out H&M's jean collection, but if you're petite like me, just watch out on the extra high um, rise, because it just won't do anything for our bods. But um, I just want to show you these jeans before I start this look up, and also I popped these on with some 
new, so these are more mango trainers. Now these trainers, they're just kind of like a bit more elegant, they're not as chunky as the other ones, and um, yeah, they just work really well with the look. So I'm going to pop on this lovely khaki jacket. It's not khaki, is it more like sage? I was actually going to get this in a cream, but the cream had sold out. Uh, just because, you know, like I said, cream's lovely to wear for spring. But I am really loving the sage. And I love this bomber jacket. It's just like such a good fit. I think it's really cool. Style in lots of different ways. It goes perfect, you know, really casually over a vest and jeans and cute little trainers. So this is proper cash, you know. And I absolutely love it. And again, because it's quite neutral in colour, you can add a cute little bag. So there's some colour here. And in fact, I have forgotten to mention this bag, which I love. I got it in black and this colour, I'm not sure what one to keep, I might try and keep the sage because like I said it's good to try and get away from black but I, if you're a photographer like me and you're really into your, um, you know, just taking pictures every day, this is such a good bag, now this is, it gives you the option of wearing it across the body but um, I just absolutely love it because it's just the perfect kind of camera size so you can see it's like proper like box fit and then at the front you can put your little like film in there so if you've got like film camera or like Polaroid or something and it's just such a great bag for that and like I said it comes in black on the website but I think I might keep the um, the sage green because it matches <laughs> it matches the little dress that we had on first and then this bomber jacket yeah I love it perfect for if you want to take pictures on the go okay so we've got a little bit of pattern going on this is too long for my liking but I'm gonna go into it because I know quite a lot of you will probably love this so this is embracing the gingham you know the color I love the green really really cute so I've also got it in this dress as well which kind of looks ever so slightly shorter so this might work um, but I think these cute little spring dresses are perfect for kind of like going to the park you know having a little picnic and I love the kind of like ones where they're just like not massively tight it's good to have that option you know if you want to feast you want to eat a lot of the picnic um which um who does it right so yeah this really is perfect for that kind of you know occasion but yeah it's a little bit too long on me which is such a shame because it actually fits me perfectly everywhere else i mean like look at it on my back like on the arms and just on my chest so it's a shame that it's not kind of like you know kind of shorten there because that is so cute and it just screams spring and summer but um let's get the black one on and see if that's any shorter oh it's still to me just that little bit too long i feel if i kind of pull it up there'll be quite like you know like random material it's got that elasticated waist so it's basically the opposite of the dress we just had on it's long sleeves it's a tight fit um this is it's a gorgeous dress i absolutely love it but it is just that little bit too long, so if I pull it all the way down, um, yeah, oh, what a shame, I want it to be short and cute. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's super comfortable, like, and stretchy, um, on the arms and things like that. It's such a shame, because I feel like it fits me perfectly everywhere else, except the length, um, so I know that's a shame, so I'll probably be returning those two dresses, but I know that not everyone who watches me is petite, so if you would like cute little kind of gingham dresses, really embracing the spring patterns, I think these two are just adorable. Um, so, but I would say I'm five foot, so I would say if you're about like five two, five three, um, and taller, these would look bomb on you. <laughs> oh, angels, these are cute and kind of exactly what I was looking for. So last year, I really wanted to get kind of like linen vibes i feel like linen's a little bit overrated it creases easily and it doesn't really look great so i feel like it's kind of like a fabric and material that's well hyped up but yeah saying that i really did kind of want flowy i guess kind of linen-y vibes um like white trousers that just kind of like they're comfortable around the waist they're elasticated they are cropped which these ones are and i'm um, just super you know easy to throw on and yeah, they're just really summery as well. They're perfect for holiday. And I think I have found them, guys. I got a pair from Nasty Gal last year, but they were so see-through. I just couldn't wear them and keep them. But um, I popped on the mango um, sandals, which go perfectly with these. You can see the length. And um, there is this blazer here, which I think it has got a linen blend, which is why it's quite thin and looks creased so this is what I'm saying about it you know but um I uh picked it up anyway just to get a white blazer option 
And um, but yeah, let's see if we can make a set out of this. Oh, I actually thought this was going to be the same colour, so we could have like a really nice kind of flowy white set. But yeah, no, the trousers are too white compared to the blazer, which is a shame. But I'm used. You can see that. You can see the look I'm going for, right? I wonder if they've got any other white blazers on there. If they do, um, I'll link some down below. Um, with the links and everything else. But um, yeah, that's the kind of vibe I was, you know, going for. I want something white oversized flowy comfortable you know scream summer um so that's what i wanted but um nearly there nearly there <laughs> Okay, I actually got this blazer from Mango. It's a little bit long for my liking. It's kind of more of a coat on me, but I quite like the neutrals, you know, mixing here in the colours. The quality of Mango's blazers are always, you know, top notch. Um, but yeah, for me, I do like a box fit because of my height, so I like it, them to come out oversized and white here, but shorter. Um, but yeah, I do quite like the nude, the white, and then a really nice kind of brownie camel colour. Um, for spring and then I was gonna say to balance off the nude there's this bag from H&M and it's such like beach vibes guys like look how cute it is it's on a silver chain but I don't think the chain can go any shorter so this is a feel for me look how long it is I kind of wish it was here you know what I mean and then you're kind of adding a nice bit of texture to the outfit and it's balancing off the nudes but um, yeah, so that's a shame. I'd probably actually have it as a clutch. I think you can take off the um the chain and um yeah, have it as a clutch. But yeah, this is proper holiday vibes, isn't it? I love this. Okay, Angel. So we've got a little bit of. I think this is. I think this is linen vibes again. I'm like saying all of that and ranting about it in the previous look. And yeah, it is like the shirt is quite like creased. I'm not sure if you can see properly. But what I'm kind of loving about this is that usually linen feels quite thin, um, but this isn't see-through and I'm kind of loving the way it feels on me. So I'm kind of going back on myself a bit, but I, I was saying I don't like how creased it gets and um, that's the, the shirt does look creased. I'm not sure if it looks on the camera, but um, in person it does. Now I actually thought I was going to put on some jeans with this, um, but it actually fits me like a dress. I got these back on, can you tell that I just absolutely love them? And um, I'm kind of craving um, maybe like a blazer on top of something, but the length, guys, I would wear this as a dress. Um, if you want that extra bit of protection though, I would just put on like cycle shorts on underneath um, or kind of like boxer pants or something just to like cover you. There is this blazer so I did get a black blazer. What am I like? I always have to have a bit of black don't I in the videos but this is an extra small right and I was actually going to get it in a small because of that oversized look but this looks like a proper box fit. Um, uh, love how nice is this? It's got pockets and then having those little sandals on. I really love the shirt, like um how it's it's not too like long, it's not too low, um, and there's no buttons or anything, it's just a super relaxed fit. And then having a blazer on top, this is actually so nice. I would wear this, I would wear this to like go out in like with heels, um, and even you could put on some um, trainers with this. Let's add a little bit of colour. So I got this really cute lime um, green bag from Mango. It's a really cute everyday bag. Not too small but it's kind of got that really cute petite feel to it. But yeah just kind of like adding a little bit of colour. Do the blazer up. Yeah, so this is the box fit that I'm meaning. Um, look at the length of the sleeves, well good. It's when it's short, but then it's like a nice wide shoulder. Yeah, I really like this. The length is perfect on me to wear as a dress. Again, I'd put on trainers. I'd put on, you know, knee-high boots with this. Again, these are kind of like essential pieces, aren't they? A really nice black blazer and um, a really lovely white shirt for spring. Okay, so we're getting proper florally here. I actually wasn't sure if this skirt is ugly or just incredibly cute. You know when you're like looking at something and you're like, is that ugly? But when you get it on, you're like, is it cute? I'm kind of low-key loving it. I think it's embracing really kind of everything about spring, the florals, the really lovely vibrant colours that are coming in and it's just super cute. I would say the only thing is that it's still a little bit long um, but more kind of like on the waist so maybe if I kind of tuck it in does that yes it does there we go so I've just tucked it in a little bit but how cute it's got a cute little frill and I'm just obsessed with this cute little white um top as well it's super stretchy guys look at this I think this is going to be like my go-to white top for this season it's super cute and I also got it in this orange to match the skirt 
but I'm not sure if it's a bit OTT with the orange, you know. Um, the white goes really well. Will I put it on? Oh no, it's actually not as bad as I thought. I'm not sure if it kind of cancels out the skirt a little bit. These crop tops are so cute, you know, like for jeans, like for any other bottom you want to style it with. But yeah, I really like the cute little kind of puffy short sleeve. And yeah, how adorable is this? Super summery, super holiday vibes. Love it. It's super stretchy, super comfortable for those cute little picnics in the parks that I keep going on about. Do you know, it's just the little things like that, you know, when the weather changes and it gets super nice. It has legit just started hailstoning. <laughs> Early in the video, I'm like, let's get away from black, get away from the black. But I did alter this dress because I had a similar one from Mistress Rocks that had these buttons down the um, middle and it was literally the same kind of shaping and design as this, but it was just that little bit too long on me. Um, but this one, I cannot get over the fit. It it's just the perfect fit. How lush is this? I love the design at the bottom because it has the buttons going all the way up. And it's super tight. Like, it fits me perfectly. I've um, kept those little... Cause I would wear it, I would wear this, you know, like in the spring and summer, even though it's black. It's a shame they haven't got it in white because I probably would have picked up um, it in white as well and worn that more, you know, in the warmer seasons, I swear. <laughs> But I do love this, it's cute little, you know, little black dress vibes and the sleeve length and everything, this must be a size 4 or extra extra small because the fit of it is super stretchy and it would look cute with little trainers and little heels if you want to go out, flip floppies, a cute little bag across your, I was looking up there for some but they're all, they've all ended up on the ground. But yeah, no, this is super cute, I really love this dress. Again, an essential item. The fit is amazing, and yeah, you can tell I just absolutely love it. I'm gonna wear it throughout spring and summer, and I don't care. <laughs> okay, lovely. So we have got another blazer here. Again, I just kind of kept these on. I love them. I feel like, again, kind of go to places for blazers, like weekday. Oh, nearly but Uh, yeah, weekday, um, and I, mango are good. And who's the other one? Zara are really good for blazers. But H&M, you know, is creeping up on that list because they are getting the oversized shoulder pads structured. Like, the um, quality of the blazers are up there, I would say, with Zara. But the prices are, like, $17.99. I mean, yeah, you can... You, the prices literally range from, like, 15 quid to, like, 40 or 50 quid. Um, so it's similar to um, Zara pricing. But how lush is this colour? I love blue. It would go really nicely with a dark blue bag down here. But I've picked up that really cute floral bag from Mango. I just think this is an adorable look. And, yeah, look, wearing it as a dress, you know, it fits me perfectly because I am small. So if you're taller than me, it might be that little bit shorter on you. But, um, yeah, taking the petite as a positive for this one, we can get away with the certain things that taller people can't. So, yeah, it's got two buttons here. And it's just so cute. You can wear, go out, wear this, you know, when you're going for drinks with your friends, wear heels on. You can put trainers on with this. Um, I've just kind of left my um, flip-flops on. But, yeah, this is just super, super cute. I really love this look. And I also feel like whatever is in um, for spring and summer, you never don't see pastels. Pastels are just a thing for spring and summer, aren't they? So it really is just kind of embracing the beautiful colours of pastels, which I know so many of us love. Um, but yeah, I cannot go over how cute it looks with this bag. So this is a win, I love. So there we go, lovelies. I really hope you enjoyed this H&M haul. I had so much fun. Proper spring summer vibes, isn't it? Like, there's a little bit of something here for everyone, hopefully. And, um, yeah, getting some pattern in, getting some pastels in, getting some blazers, some basic pieces, and, yeah, getting some patterns. I think I've already said that. Um, but, yeah, I really am trying to embrace the colours and patterns for spring. So much is coming out with the 70s vibes, which I love, and think I might do a Zara haul so if you want me to do that let me know in the comments and I will get onto that in the next couple of weeks and I'm looking to see if there was anything that actually didn't work but I kind of feel like everything did so um yeah H&M are on a roll so if you want to grab some of these pieces you know that the links are down in the description box anyway I really hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a wee like it would mean the world to me and if you're new here thank you so 
much for watching. I don't know how long this is, this, you know, I'm going to edit this down to. But hopefully you enjoyed it enough to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And yeah, go and hit me up on Instagram because I post daily on there. And you know what I'm feeling like doing? A little like life update video because a lot has happened in my life which has just been amazing, a whirlwind. I'm the happiest I've ever been in my entire life and I cannot wait to share with you all. Um, and yeah, it's kind of like reflecting on my YouTube uploads as well because I am toing and throwing to my boyfriend's place in Glasgow, which is why my uploads aren't very frequent on YouTube, but I'm really trying my best. But yeah, I'm actually going to buy a bunch of equipment down there. So yeah, there'll be a little bit of an update on everything, but stay tuned on my Instagram because I post a lot of my daily routine on there. And I'll do a little questions, you know, Q&A and um, see what you're feeling, what kind of content you'd like to see from me. So yeah, let me know over on there and I'll catch you there. But if not, I'll catch you in my next video, which will be next week or the week after, hopefully. <laughs> I actually suck, I need to post more. <laughs> but your support and your love is everything, so thank you so much for supporting me, even though my uploads aren't great. Um, but like I said, please look out for me on Instagram um, so you can get more from me on there. So yeah, I'm repeating myself, I'm gonna head, I'm gonna let you enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and I hope you have a great week. Love you lots, lovelies. See you later.